Welcome to YouTube Excel Magic Trick number 11. Hey, if you want to follow along with this workbook right here, click on my channel, click on my college website link, and download this. This workbook has 11 all the way to 22 tricks. Hey, in this Excel trick, we're going to see how to determine whether your average is a good average. Hey, here's sales department one, sales department two. I'm going to click in cell B22 and hit the F2 key. Average, it's calculating the average, which is the arithmetic mean, adding them up and dividing by the count. You can see the formula up there. I'm going to hit tab. And then F2 to put that into edit mode, you can see this formula average is calculating the average for sales department 2. But wait a second, they're both 290. The question is, how good is your average? What we really mean is, does this 290, which is an average, a typical value, does it represent its data points fairly? This 290, how does it represent its data points? Hey, let's look over here. A picture tells a thousand words, right? Here's the average for the blue number, sales department one, and here's all the data points. Look at that. They are spread out. There's a bunch of different ones, but here's the average. Here's sales department two, the red, the red one's right there. Looks like they're more spread out than the blue ones. There's the average, there's the data points. So our question is, which one of these average, sales department two or sales department one, represents its data points more fairly? Well, guess what? Just visually, we can see it's easy to figure out. This one is more like all of those ones. These are less far away. These ones are more far away. So this one represents its data points more fairly. Hey, we don't always have time to do a chart like this. This is kind of hard to do anyway. So there's some measures called variance measures. Variance, standard deviation, and mean deviation. If you look up here, it lists the functions we're going to do. STDEV, VAR, and AVD. These are all built-in functions that will calculate the variance automatically and tell us whether our mean represents the data points. It also tells us how spread out the data points. Guess what? When we calculate this, the smaller our measures here, the better that mean represents the data points. The bigger it is, the more spread out the data points. Hey, let's calculate these um, variance calculations. I'm going to click in F22, and I'm going to type equals VAR for variance. And then I'm going to highlight Sales Department 1. Now watch this. That's a relative cell reference. So when I control Enter, and then point to my fill handle with my angry rabbit. Remember, that's the move cursor. That's the selection cursor. But that one right there, that is the copy uh, cursor and you can click on the fill handle with your angry rabbit and drag it over. Look at that. It's 2,600, 2,664 smaller than 18,819. You betcha. This one tells us that our mean represents its data points more fairly than this one. Hey, the bigger number says that the data points are more spread out. Let's try another one. And guess what? Standard deviation, the most used measure of variation in the world. The function in Excel is equals STDEV, open parentheses. And I'm going to highlight this sales data for department one. You can see the formula up there. Now watch this. Hey, wait a second. I didn't put the close parentheses. But guess what? When you have a function with just one argument like this, if you leave it off and enter or control enter, look at that. It automatically puts it in. I'm going to copy this over using my angry rabbit. The green one says that sales department one mean Using the average function represents its data points more fairly. This bigger number says the data points are more spread out. Hey, we'll do our last one here. We'll click in this cell. Equals A-V-E-D-E-V. -E -E this is mean deviation. Mean. Man, that deviation is mean. There, I'm going to highlight those. Control Enter. You can see the formula right there. It's a relative cell reference, so when we copy it over, Hey, if you don't believe it, you can always click in that cell and hit F2. Did the blue box move? You betcha. There it is. That's a little bit about how to tell whether you have a good average or not. But really, it just says, does your average, your typical value, represent its data points fairly? All right, we'll see you next Excel trick.